joined now by the reigning under-21 Canadian Player of the Year in a Canadian Premier League and newly an Atletico Ottawa player, Matteo de Brienne. Matteo, you've just been announced as uh, obviously returning in a way to your hometown club in Ottawa. Just tell me about the emotions of, of this announcement and, and this news and, and just coming back home to play professional soccer. It's awesome. I mean, it's been in the works for a long time now, but I'm just I'm very happy that uh, we were able to get it done. Yeah, I, I know that this uh, wasn't an easy decision to make. I mean, it, it was a you know an off season where you had to weigh a lot of options. Maybe talk us through a little bit of of what this process has been like for you the last the last I guess couple of months since the season ended, and and you know what really did bring you to to the ultimate decision that that this was what you wanted to do. Absolutely, it, it was a tough one. I, I'd have to say just because you know when you do have the options, it's it's difficult because it's the first time in my career that. I'm able to pick, I'd say. And so for me, it was about sitting down with my agent and looking over the options, putting the pros, the cons, and you know the hours of overthinking, uh, which were, were very difficult. Um, obviously, you know, Valor took care of me for the last two seasons. And so I'm very appreciative for the opportunity that was given there. But um, you know, me personally, I just felt like now it is an opportunity for me to really showcase myself in in a hostile environment as well so that's uh kind of where me and my agent sat down we looked at it and they're like okay uh you know what's next for you and i just felt that this opportunity here was uh where it was meant to be I, as you mentioned you know this being kind of a, a moment where you got to choose where you went uh you know for those who don't know obviously you've had a bit of a weird path to the pro game you did sign for Atletico Ottawa. I think the first ever Atletico Ottawa team didn't quite work out there. But what's it like to you to to come back home, not just as you know a player getting an opportunity, but as at this point a star in this league and a player that you know fans have been asking to come home and 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 just there's so much excitement around you coming to your hometown club. I, it's a great feeling because you know this is home for me, and so the fact that people are excited for it to happen just makes me even you know happier to think of. But yeah, yeah. It's more motivation for me because I know playing in Ottawa is not something that is easy. And I know that you know, the ask will be high. But me personally, I, I'm up for this challenge and I want to make sure that this is a year where I could really push myself, you know, past everything. For sure. And, and I mean, obviously, this is an Ottawa club that has grown and, and, and expanded, especially off the pitch in the last few years. It's when you came here as a Valor player to, to play, what were your impressions of, you know, the... The kind of the this new era of professional soccer in Ottawa and obviously the atmosphere, the fan base and, and the club itself. Incredible. I mean, I feel like I've used that word a few times already, but, you know, once again, uh, from speaking to a lot of the players in the league, they know that Ottawa is one of those places where it's very tough to play at. The, the fans, they pack out, you know, just like Halifax as well, they pack out. And so, you know, these environments in Canada are growing and it makes me happy to be a part of what it is and what it will be, you know, in the future. Um, I yeah, know the, the game that we played here when I think it was the league record, I think 7,000 and something. It was it was special and it was kind of nice, too, because uh, my sister was actually taking photos on the field that day. So it's really nice when I'm able to get my family involved in, in uh, my career as well. Yeah. And, and I think that'll be easier now, right, with your family being being just down the road in Ottawa. That'll be that'll be special for you to be able to have them at more of your games. Right. It'll be special. But it'll also be difficult because now, you know, I'm going to have more eyes on me and more criticism from my family. So going home for dinner that night will be difficult. But, you know, I'm very excited for it. Are they harsh critics? Who's, who's your uh, your harshest judge in that, in that group? My mom. Yeah. My mom. Especially if I do a front flip uh, at TD Place, you know, I, I she won't be happy with me afterwards. But got to do it. <laughs> well, it's a when. It's not an if for you. <laughs> Sorry. Absolutely. Um, um, you know, obviously, we talk about this kind of being such a, a great story and a homecoming story. But on the pitch, I think, is is another story as well because you were coming into this Ottawa team that just barely missed the playoffs last year. Um, just tell me a bit about your initial conversations with Fernando with Carlos about how you can help this team next season. I mean, the profile that they were showing me made my decision fairly easy to, to join this group. You know, looking at all the bits and pieces that are slowly coming together is 
making this look like this could be something very, very special next season. Um, and so for me personally, it was uh, quite easy when, you know, I was able to sit down with my agent, sit down with Fernando, even speak to Carlos and, you know, really look over things of how I will progress as a, a player and help the team at the same time. Absolutely. But certainly the player that you are now is not necessarily the same player that maybe first spoke to Fernando when you signed for this club in 2020. Uh, maybe tell us a bit about how you've kind of grown and evolved on the pitch. You know, at Valor, you were challenged to play several different positions, play left back quite a bit. Just what do you feel like, you know, that evolution is and, and, and where you've kind of grown as a player? Yeah, there was a lot of growth uh, right after the uh, Island game season because I ended up signing for Carlton University where my head coach is Kwesi. Yeah. And uh, so he was one of those guys who's been monitoring me for a long period of time and always wanted me to come to Carlton. And uh, he really helped me uh, develop as a person and a player because I was playing on what had to have been the best team in Canada, like uh, in university in, in my year that I played. And so, you know, he had control of that team and I played with the highest of quality players that you could play with in university. And, you know, it was an honor to, to be a part of that. But I felt like that really helped me grow uh, going into my first professional season at Valor because, you know, I was instructed right away that it's not going to be easy. You did well here, but it's going to be different there and you need to expect that. And, you know, I just made sure that every day in training, I worked as hard as I could and had Daryl Fordyce, who was a good mentor to, to me, who is now the assistant coach, who, you know, kept me accountable for everything. So, you know, credits to him for for helping me in my two seasons there because without the instruction that he would have given me without uh, the opportunity as well uh, none of this would have been possible absolutely and i know you know valor fans will will not be not be thrilled to, to see you go but i'm sure obviously you have you know plenty of affection and love for your time there right absolutely and uh, you know the fans supported me on off the field win lose and so for that i'm incredibly thankful i mean the fans became more of like a family to me uh, you know, in my two years there. Uh, so, you know, this decision was not an easy decision. Um, and you know, I'll forever, you know, be thankful for for the time given there. Absolutely. Just lastly, Mateo, I know preseason is still a little bit away, um, a, a few weeks away for, for Atletico Auto, but do you find yourself thinking already about what it's going to be like you know, walking out at TD Place, playing in front of that crowd for that home opener, at, obviously in your hometown? Yeah, first, I want to make sure that I can earn my opportunity. Uh, I'm one that knows that not everything is given. And so I want to make sure come first day of preseason, I'm where I need to be to help the team so that come the first game of the season at TD Place or wherever it ends up being that, you know, I'm prepared to help this team. Absolutely. Matteo de Brienne, uh, perhaps the, the biggest move of the CPL offseason so far, signing for Atletico Ottawa. Matteo, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Charlie.